Range fans, check it out. Another 50 mile an hour win day. No, I'm just kidding. I'm back on the 50 yard line though with the Tika T1X. You guys have been asking. I heard, we heard, we listened. And guys, he lived up to his promise. Oh, Big Red. Yep, he's back at it with the Tika T1X at 50 yards. We're going to go through just today. We're going to keep the video short. We've got some SK rifle match that we're going to test here today. We're going to let John shoot this thing at 50 yards with SK rifle match. And there will be more videos to come of all the ammo you saw in the first video. Go back and take a look at that first video. The ammo that we had stacked up here, we're going to test them one by one. Today is going to be SK rifle match. We were going to do a little bit more testing with additional ammo. But it is so windy. Even the weather station says 20 mile per hour winds today. You guys know how um, my target stand moves down range. Many have asked, I need to tighten that up. Look, I have to shoot at what the facilities has given us. I can't bring my own target, unfortunately. I do have a little flag tied on the pole down range that I'll roll in a little bit of B footage right here so that you can take a look at it. We're going to get everything set up and see if old John, old Big Red, and the Tika T1X can outshoot the CC42. That's right. I've got the big brother, CZ, on the range with us today. The old man. Yeah, it's not a BRNO or a Burno for sure, but I've got a 452 on range with us today, and these two are going to duke it out. Let's get after it. All right, folks, we got John on the range with us today, as you saw in the opening with his Tika T1X as he's getting set up. Boy, is it windy out. It is absolutely crazy. It feels calm here at the firing line, but you saw the orange flag from before. Wow, it, it is still dancing down range. So, John, I'm going to let you go first because I hope the wind <laughs> dies down a little bit. <laughs> uh, I'm going to fess up to something, folks, right here on camera. I did sort my 22, some say it's, a, it's nonsense, but I did sort my uh, SK rifle match ammo by headspace. John's shooting it directly out of the box. So let me, let me fess up to that now, uh, and then we'll go. John, we got the target down range. We got the green dots on top. Those are two inch target, folks. And we've got one inch targets down below. This is a challenge over at dayattherange.com that you can see and go over and download all your targets. I did hear you. I put all the targets on one page. So here we go, John. Tell us a little bit again about the rifle you have here. Okay, we got a Tika T1X and a KRG Bravo chassis with a uh, Vortex uh, Diamondback 5 to 25. I think that's what it is. Six to, to six to twenty-four. Six to twenty-four. Six to twenty-four. With a with uh, a is that a thirty millimeter tube or a thirty-four? Thirty millimeter tube. Yeah, that's yep. why it has so much light in it. Um, and we did a Yo Dave trigger spring in it. Awesome, man. Well, you guys have seen it before. Let's see what John does on camera. It's interesting, folks. We're going for tightest group. Shoot at the top target, then bottom target, then top target, then bottom target to see how we handle the adjustment. Dead center. Ooh. Bottom target. Boy, I tell you, in this wind, that's not bad. Well, John, the flag down range is no good to us. It's wrapped around the pole now.
Hey guys, he can't help himself. Please forgive him. He shot at the wrong target. He, yeah, you shot at the wrong target. The top target is yours. You got the green one, then the orange one down below, and you shot at the green one. Forgive him, folks. I think he's got to have his shoes off to count to 10, too. So forgive him for that. <laughs> Let's go. Keep rocking it. We're going to count that as yours. Now you want me to shoot the orange target? Shoot the orange target. On the top one. Okay. I was already shooting 100 today. Mm -mm. Too windy. I Oh, man, that last one is a killer. Well, the wind died down. Oh. Now that was a group. So go to the next one, the green one up top. Okay. Folks, we're going to measure these when we get home. We'll measure all the uh, groups. You can join us at dayattherange.com and see the uh, group sizing of what this Chica does compared to the CZ452 bedded CZ452 coming up next. I don't know, John. I think there's something to that aim small, miss small. You notice that the groups on the um, on the green target is a little bit more open than the ones on the one inch orange target. target. That's true. Yeah. I brought a box of targets for today. <laughs> Might try them. I used to use them. Yep. John, John sounds like John needs them. We'll go down and put some up. We got some new stickers. My buddy DM just showed up. And we've got some, uh, gosh, ooh, some small stickers, folks. We'll show you. Killer. Now that's all right. You got two more targets down. Oh, you need some more ammo? Yes, sir. Okay. I think you're gonna have to bring your A game more than anything. If you stop <laughs> if you stop shooting at the um <laughs> wrong target there, young man, you might have had enough ammo to complete that round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the one thing, folks. The Tika, you can see that. And I'm not going to edit this stuff out, folks. I'm just going to show you what type of fun we have here, camaraderie. You guys come out and join us. That magazine is a little bit different, though it, it is very beefy. But it's very easy Unlike to Unlike the CZ magazines that are so small yeah. and almost kind of hard to deal with, if you will. Here we go. Big Red on his last two. What in the world? Guys, I changed up his ammo. And that thing is shooting the lights out. What the? Oh, look at that thing. What is that way out there?
What oh, was man, that? that is one wicked flyer out there. Hey, John, hold on a minute. I want to show you something. Folks, I've got something else to fess up to here. Um, I almost feel bad about it. Might want to take your hearing out so you can hear. I almost feel bad about it, folks, and I'll roll in some of this footage for you, but this is what me and my son was up to last night. All right, going to be a SK match tomorrow with old Big Red, and I am preparing. That's right. You see the ammo there on the bench, right, on the table? We're going to take, eh, let's call it nine rounds out of this one. Why not? SK pistol match special. We'll take 10 rounds out of that one. SK Standard Plus. Yep, we'll take 10 rounds out of that one too. Nah, we'll, we'll yeah, we'll take 10. What the heck? Oh, uh, you know what? We'll take 11 because we were one short on the other one. And then last and final, pistol match. Did I get all of them? Did I? I don't know. We'll do that. Um... Well, why not? Pistol match special. Ten rounds there. Guess where those 50 rounds are going. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get them all mixed up there. Guess where those 50 rounds are going? Old Big Red thinks he's going to shoot with me tomorrow with some SK rifle match. <laughs> Boy, I cracked myself up. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take that box. Listen, I learned this. Yep, yep, we'll, we'll, we'll take that box right there, too. We'll add 10 rounds from that box. Uh, yeah, let's add another 10 rounds from that box. This was a setup. It most absolutely was a setup. And let me tell you, I learned this from a buddy, YouTube buddy over there. Uh, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. That's what he said. So in that last box of ammo, John just shot four different brands of ammo. Yeah, I'm even going to mix it around a little bit. But those are totally different brands of ammo. But did you see how it shot on the first group? Absolutely amazing. Good shoot, man. <laughs> it's rigged. I knew it. <laughs> All right, folks, here we go. We got the CZ 452 on the bench and I'm gonna go at it. You saw I had to change the target down range cause some redhead knucklehead was shooting at my target. I, I think the kid has to count to 20 with his shoes off, but I'm gonna forgive him for that. Um, man, you see that KRG Bravo. And, and again, I owe John apology. Me and my son, we set him up last night. Yep, me and my son, we set him up last night and mixed all that ammo together. <laughs> You guys saw his reaction there. Hey, come out, have fun. It's a great time on the range, even in all this wind. So let me get my uh, ears in if I could find them right quick. And guess what? DM showed up with some nice rifles. We'll have to get that on camera today too. That would be awesome. Hey, SK rifle match. You guys see how it's doing? We're gonna see how it does in the CZ 452. And then we'll put one of DM's rifles on the bench with SK Rifle Match and see how it does. No picking of ammo, just flat out talent and rifle and gear. Here we go. You know what? I want this thing on backwards. All right, here we go. Yeah, buddy, taking no prisoners today. You guys see that group? This thing's been bedded by my old buddy, Ben. All right, here we go, one inch target. Oh, 
Oh yeah, she laying them in there today. Oh, <laughs> yeah, buddy. You know, I thought, I, I gotta be honest with you folks. CZ makes a really nice rifle. This is one of the old ones. By the way, you've seen it before. It's been bedded by my buddy BH. The one thing that's different is with the CZ 452, they had a, a barrel nut in here that goes through the stock up into the bottom of the barrel and it's notched on the bottom of the barrel, much like a, um, much like a front sight on a pistol. My understanding, the history of all that is CZ has been making military rifles for quite some time and they carried it over into their 22 rimfire line in that way. Well, I'm shooting it without that barrel lug in there. Some say bed it when you bed the action. Some say leave it out. My buddy BH, that dude is a proven shooter, uh, by the way. And he said, man, leave that thing out and see how it goes. Only bad thing is this thing has one action screw on the CZ 452, but you saw it on target. Let's see if I can replicate it. Here we go next. Got to go back up to the top. All right, here we go. That wind down range. That flag is blowing straight back. Now it's whipping to the side. Man, I don't know what's what with that one flyer. Had to be me or when, because you guys saw I've actually uh, sorted this ammo by headspace, and I'll show you that contraption too. It's pretty nice. Something I kind of rigged together to take headspace of the rimfire. I know, I know, folks. Don't run me out of town. It's a waste of time if you buy good quality ammo. Here's what I will tell you with SK Rifle Match, it seems to love this 452, seems to love it. And I get even better when I, when I sort by headspace. I did do a video of headspace, sorting, weight sorting, and then putting both of them together. On paper, on the same exact day, it seemed to make a little bit of a difference. But everybody has their opinion on that. You can go check out that previous video. All right, now down below. Oh, not so hot now. That's for me cheating. That's what this group is for. Ah. All right. Let's get 10 more in the 10 round magazine. Then we'll measure these groups when we get home and slap them up on the old website. But you know what? I don't know. Maybe I should get a few extra rounds like somebody else and shoot on the wrong target. I, I think that was kind of like practice, additional practice myself. That's what I think. All right, here we go. Oh, uh, you guys hear the peanut gallery over there. Yaggity, yaggity, yaggity. Two distinct groups. That was interesting. Let's go down to the bottom. Here we go. It's going to be the best group of the day right here. When it don't matter. I don't care what all you say. It don't matter. I told you it was going to be the best group of the day. When I buckle down, I buckle down. Well, there it is, folks. Oh, no, wait. Not just yet. We got another guest with some interesting rifles we're going to put on camera 
downrange. Let's get these targets, get his camera set up or get his target set up, and we'll see what old DM can do with his rifles. All right. Get him to land on my target. <laughs> I don't know if we can make him land on your target, uh, but I understand. I Seven forty sevens coming in for landing. Guys, what we have on the bench with us today, something pretty unique. You've seen it on the channel one time before. That's a voodoo heavy barrel with vortex scope on top and a nice MPA chassis. It's the only one I've seen of this color. Now, I think this is a little bit unfair because DM is shooting the same target that we all shot, but he brought his own ammo. John, I wonder why did he bring his own ammo? Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna let him get to it. All right, folks, we got old DM on the bench. I have no idea what ammo he's shooting, but it's a Voodoo and MPA chassis, as you've seen. Voodoo, MPA chassis, Tika T1X, CZ452. Who comes out on top today? It absolutely won't be the guy that shoots the camera, though. Five apiece, five apiece on each target. That was five. I think I need a Voodoo 360. That's what I think. Or maybe a Remington 40X and 22. What about that? If I stumble upon one of them, folks, tell me. What do you guys think scope I should put on top? I would like to stay with the scope in the vintage class, but might not have to to compete with these things you see out here today. Oh man, that thing is making it tough. DM switching over to the next target. An MPA chassis is bucking that wind pretty good. That's the view from my scope on the CZ452 there. Ooh, wind picked up. DM's waiting for it to die down, I guess. So hard to say, folks, because the wind is whipping here on the firing line. It seems like that flag should be a little bit more uh, movement downrange. It's just swirling all over. Oh, he shot the orange dot off. Oh. John, he brought out the big guns today. Like I said, puppy kicking. <laughs> you got one last target down there after this one. the dot on the first round. Oh, 
Oh, maybe a little choking going on there on that last round. Him and John got the same diagnosis or disease. Last round, fibrosis. All right, folks, I know it's turning out to be a little bit of a long video, and that I'm not sorry for because I'm having a blast on the range with two of the best people I know. You've seen this one one time before. It's an Anschutz 1727F. Boy, I like the old biathlon. Man, this thing is just, it is slick as all get out. Just really, really slick. Well, to settle it, if you didn't see the first targets, go back. They were all pretty close, at least I think by eye, we'll get home and measure them. Well, to settle it all, we've got something less than an inch of a target that we're gonna take three targets, five rounds a piece of Center X and put on each target and see how this thing does. It has an Arkin SH4 sitting on top, six to 24. What a nice setup. Let's get to it. All right, folks, here we go. Now I gotta tell you, I'm starting out with a little doubt, probably not gonna help me on that small orange dot target down range. Here's why. I let ODM load my magazines. This is supposed to be Center X from the same lot that he and I have been using in this thing. Uh, we'll see how it shoots. I, 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 he tells me he didn't play any hanky panky with it, but we'll see here. Five rounds on each three inch target down range. I'm gonna go at the very top. Woo, those things look small. I'm gonna shoot my groups. We're gonna let Big Red shoot his groups. And then DM, Center X, 1727, and shoots. Biathlon style. I hope my he ordered a uh, port tour. Yeah. The next one they're gonna build. Snow. Wow. Hit the orange dot, but that group ain't the best. I don't know. Should I trust this guy on this ammo? I had some tight groups when spotting this thing in. Here we go. Let's move over to the next. Get a good cheek weld. Oh yeah, orange dot, baby, right on. What is going on with me? Folks, I promise you, it's me. It's not this rifle. I'm sure it is. All right, last group. Let's tighten it up. Let's tighten it up. Let's tighten it up. Here we go, big fella. Let's go. Make these count. Dead center. Goodness gracious, I left the door open for these fools. Goodness gracious. All right, folks, here we go. John, your turn, buddy. All right, He's doing uh, five on each. Yes, sir, five on each. Small dot target. Um, I think I was trying to focus too much on hitting that orange target. My groups opened up a bit. When you rack it, rack it like you mean it so it ejects good. It's still getting broken in new. Here we go. Five shots, each target. That wind is still picking up, folks. Big red. Like wind change direction. Yeah, the wind's changing direction big time. Look at the flag down range and how it's kind of like blowing straight to from. But here up underneath the shed, it's blowing through left to right. Uh-oh, misfire. Nothing in it. Well, I know one thing. 
You and Daryl have the last shot jitters. Bad. Oh, John's wrapping up over there. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, DM, let's put him behind this thing. Hey, folks, I might change up his ammo. What do you guys think? No, let's not do that. All right, let's go. He's got to get dialed in. Yes, yeah, sorry, the, I had might to adjust it for my young eyes. I had to adjust the eyepiece to my eyes as well. The eyepiece here. If it's out of focus, no. Here, right here. If the crosshairs are out of focus, now adjust your parallax to make sure everything looks good to you. But I do like that that has a center dot between. Yeah, the dot. Where that, that doesn't. The dot is what makes it in the arcing, that's for sure. Makes it easier to hit that orange dot down range. They weren't kidding when they said 20 miles an hour today. Don't short stroke it, bring it all the way back. Oh, the last jitter blues. Well, what do you think, folks? Hmm, the old thinker. So who won today? Comment down below in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. You saw four wonderful rifles and 20 mile per hour win trying to get the smallest group. Listen. I'm just saying, I don't need to take off my shoes to count to 20, big red shooting at the wrong target. And then also, someone else comes out with his new rifles, DM. He doesn't even know how to shoot the things. He can't get them to feed or anything. Come on, you guys got to give me a vote. Lift my self-esteem. Yeah, I'm pleading and begging. Was even cheating. Even cheating in this episode. Folks, that's it for today. We had a ton of fun going home. Thanks for joining me.